I just want to be a whale. The build mechanic? Okay, so the build's based off of like several things, right? First is based off the gloves. So you hold down winter orb, you cast while channeling. This is like a this is like a very easy concept for a lot of people to do, right? Um But the build skills with uh so the the gloves give you 150% more damage with hits, which is like insane, right? And it gives you four additional projectiles. Which, which when you're on top of a target, they all overlap. Unlike normal Winter Orb, um, which you need a point, you need to be at a certain distance. You can go right on top of the mob with this, with this, uh, with these, uh, with this gloves, and they'll the all the Winter Orb hits will all overlap on top of the hits or on top of the enemy. Right. That's why you get so much single target damage. So that's the first part of the gloves. Okay. Um, so. The base the base build is a power charge stacking build, right? Which, um, since you're a lightning warp, you can be stationary, right? And when you're stationary, you can use relic heads to generate frenzy, power, and endurance without having to basically use like a bunch of like you know without having to generate frenzies the old-fashioned way, which is really really hard, right? And it could also use the shield because you never lose charges when you're on minimum, and it gives you two power charges and a bunch of things. And then, since you have so many power charges, you, now you can use Tollfall to generate flat instead of having to use gem levels, right? And that's where the damage comes from, right? And you also have Badge of the Brotherhood, right? Which makes all your power into frenzies. And then you use Inner Conviction to basically um, uh, give your power charges 3% more spell damage. But since you have, you're generating minimum frenzies instead of normal frenzies, it bypasses this, right? So you have. This plus frenzy charges and damage, and you have like um, all the things that go along with power charges, right? And then, since your power charges, you can use anathema, right? And what we do is we use anathema here and uh, a chest with four curses on on vortex. And when we uh, when we warp around, the vortex auto casts and it puts four curses: enfeeble, uh, frostbite, uh, or enfeeble, right? Uh, frostbite, elemental weakness, and uh, or, or three curses, right? Uh, on on an enemy, right? And that on top of a cultist, uh, void, whatever, lowers the enemy resistance so much we can use eye of malice to reduce their resistance uh, by another fifty percent, right? So all of that stuff combined together, and then like when we get hit, um. Assassin's Mark and Punishment also goes off, but that's like when I get hit, right? So all of that combined is your, how you generate damage on this build. I don't think I've seen another build that's even remotely similar to what this does in terms of just how to generate damage. And, and defensively, we have a little bit of physical damage or we have a little, a little bit of like physical taken as. We have like, we're going to have 5k life later with Utala's Hunger and... We have we're gonna have 95% chance to evade with Grace and Red Banner and Enfeeble and Grace Washer's Eye and 100% suppression and um, yeah basically our fizz is a little weak because we only have this and like endurance charges but it is what it is it's a it's a boss rusher right so so I don't need to like I don't really loot I just go straight to the boss so like when I hit Winter Orb I channel right. 
And when I channel, my lightning warp goes off and I move around like super, super fast, right? And I can hit Frost Blink. Like you see my Frost Blink? I can like skip around with Frost Blink. Like really, really, and I have badge, right? So my Frost Blink cooldown is actually really, really fast. So that's how I move. It's actually like, like really, really fast. Okay, but as soon as I let it go, I have to wait four seconds before I can activate Winter Orb again. And that's the clunky part of it. And if this thing doesn't exist, this build would be fucking insane, right? But because because the way this this these gloves work, I get to freaking like get four additional projectiles, which means I get GMP without having the GMP, um, without having the the negative part of GMP, which is less or less projectile damage, and I get uh, one hundred fifty percent more damage on a four link, right? Which is not But see, once I let it go, it's kind of bad, right? And, and I have to wait for four seconds to like start again, but. In most cases, like, if I need to loot, like, a Divine Orb, I'm okay with it, right? Or if I need to loot some maps. But that is the downfall of playing this build. But it, it, in the open area, it farms super, super fast because you just, like, go through everything. Except uh, in um, Festa Valley, it looks like shit because there's... Bugged, right? This will be a pleasing battle. Need to wait. Pretty good. Um It will not be so simple next time. This waiting part is the part that scares the shit out of me, dude. To give it a positive like and subscribe for more Rutu content.